Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Nate's Pink Bookshelf. My name is Nate Denise, for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video. And today's video, the title says, is going to be my January TBR. Now, I previously recorded this video and it just didn't work out, so I scratched it, waited for a new day. Um, I actually recorded that video on the 29th of December, didn't care for it, so I'm redoing it on the actual new year uh january 1st so um happy new year to anyone who's watching this obviously you're not going to see this until maybe a couple days later so happy new year anyways i hope you guys are having a phenomenal new year i hope you guys this new year's eve was amazing but this is my january tbr so let me just say i was going to make january a sort of reread month where i reread some books and some series that i really just wanted to uh get back into just because the last three months have been crazy um they have been crazy for me with tbrs i've been doing well reading obviously over 10 11 books but i'm the type of person that when i make a set tbr i tackle every book on my tbr and if i don't i feel some type of way and for the past three months um november october november and december just it wasn't working um there were Two books that I needed to finish in December. I only finished one of them in December and the other one I'm carrying over which I kind of hate because I've been reading this book since September and it's not that it's a bad book. It's just my mind has been all over the place. I've been doing a lot of things so I have to carry this now over into January which I am determined to finish this book in January. So before I show you guys that book and the other book that I definitely have on my TV that are must reads. Um, I am going to be using the TBR cards from Bowties and Books. Jesse, of course, they created these cards and I am so excited. My cards are here. I cannot wait to play with them. I've had my cards now for about two and a half, three, four, two and a half to three weeks I've had my cards and um, I'm just excited to play with them. So again, here is what the case looks like. So amazing. Right now, Jesse is on... Um, a vacation the store is on vacation it's through etsy i will leave the etsy shop down below because when they open up again you'll be able to purchase them and i believe that they are working on new cards as well so i'm so excited for that um but these cards are amazing i've swooned over them on instagram i will leave the instagram video as well as the photo i did down below but they were created by jesse prompts are by jesse um and the artwork is created by olivia from i Libby for books which stunning stunning artwork but again check my instagram um down below to see all the artwork we're gonna dive into this so i'm gonna play the same way that jesse plays so how they play is let me just grab my container so jesse has a dice tray i don't have a dice tray i do want to get a dice tray eventually because i do have a bunch of dice um but i'm just i'm gonna be you know i'm, I'm a diyer pretty much so i have this cigar box um got this cigar box from walmart a couple days ago and i haven't painted it nothing like that yet but on the inside i do have all of my dye so you guys have seen these dye before i got a five set a five colored set if i'm not mistaken yeah from um amazon it's vectop dye i think that's what it's called vectop um i will leave the link for these dye down below but it comes with an orange set the mint set the pink set the purple lavender set and then the white um and each set has seven die they're meant to be played for those who play dungeon and dragons i honestly have no idea what dungeon and dragons are no idea but i've heard people talk about them all the time and i have the die for them so i am going to first grab my die we are going to use the lavender and mint as i've been using for a while so i'm just taking all of my die out of the tray um, and this is, like I said, a DIY tray that I made myself just because I want it to be a little artsy. Um, I'm going to show you guys up close in a second. But they use a die tray. And again, mine is homemade. So I literally just took this placemat that I had, cut it into pieces, and hot glued it in. You can see the hot glue in there. So I hot glued it in. Um, you need two six-sided die to roll for how many cards you want to pick up. And the way that they play is that they take their die and they roll. So basically, if they roll and the first number is like a seven, um, and they don't think that they can read that many books in a month, they will roll to see if they can get a lower number. However, upon your second roll, whether it's higher than the first roll or lower than the first roll, that is what you have to go with. So that's how I'm going to play and we just gonna get going so i'm trying to get a high row i really want to really try to squeeze in some rereads but i also just want to do some new reads i'm just i'm all over the place so i definitely want a high row so we're gonna hope for a high row so i'm just gonna go for the first throw mm, that's a nine. Oh, oh, that's a nine that's a nine it's a four and a five can you guys see that four and a five that's a nine i'm gonna stick with that row because I don't want to go lower than that. 
And as much as I want to go higher, I feel like if I roll again, I'm going to get a lower number. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to stick with the, um, the nine. So I rolled a nine, got my cards. I'm going to open up the case. And we're just going to jump right into it. So, uh-oh, I'm dropping cards on the floor. Terrible, aren't I? So here is what the back of the cards look like. Really pretty just jesse's logo on it and this card is kind of like the thank you note slash instructions on how to play with jesse's signature um i'm gonna put that to the side here are the cards there are 53 playing cards with a 54th card which is that one i just showed you guys um we are going to shuffle these bad boys shuffle 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 um shuffle 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 okay and here is an example of the artwork on the card so there we go um so nine cards i'm just going to take the, the nine off the top so one two three four five six seven eight nine nine cards i'm going to put the rest back into the container go back in the container just sticking the rest of these in the container um i love these cards they're just amazing and we're gonna roll with it so nine cards just gonna shuffle these a little bit in my hand um taking the top card top card is fixer upper bipoc retelling of a classic bipoc i know what i want to read for that so People have been raving about this, and it is These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. It is basically um, a retelling of Romeo and Juliet set in Shanghai in the 1920s, late 1920s, I believe 1926. Yeah, 1926 in Shanghai, um, and there is a blood feud between two gangs that run the streets red, numbing the city to chaos. So, I'm excited. I've been wanting to read this for a very, very long time since it's been release honestly it came in the november book of the month for 2020 so um yeah i've had it now for about a month two months whatever um haven't read it yet have been hearing some great things about it so i do want to read this i'm gonna go with this as my first book all right so we're just gonna move along we're gonna move along um going with this one here haha <laughs> i love this card it's so cute Victor, I don't know how to say that and I'm not going to butcher it, but Victor L. Um, and it's horror paranormal fiction with strong social themes. For that, I'm going to go with the Busy Bee Book Club pick for January. And that is The Year of the Witching by Alexis Henderson. Now, I apologize that this side of my screen is blurry. I use my phone to record and my phone is not cracked, but the screen protector on it that's glass is cracked. And um, I do have a new one coming that'll be here soon. But until then, this side will be blurry. So the next video hopefully will not be blurry. But um, yeah, The Year of the Witching. Um, on the back, it says that it's a dramatic tale of oppression, rebellion, ideology, morality. Um, and yeah, I know that it deals with a lot of issues with feminism and i believe there's talks of like rape and things like that it is a a woman of color if i'm not mistaken who's a witch and i honestly don't know so we're gonna look at it, it says gothic dark and utterly enthralling this is a world i wanted to sink in until i never leave um that was blurred by emily a duncan it says a young woman living in a rigid puritanical society discovers dark prowls within herself in a stunning feminist fantasy debut and um yeah which is black woman i'm here for it that's all that matters so the year of the witching next card we're gonna go with this one here it says what best part five star prediction five star prediction five star prediction I'm going to go with Jordan Foyko's Ray Barra. I've been wanting to read this since December, and I didn't read it in my December TBR. We're not even going to talk about my December TBR. Um, I was a little just going to wrap up, but my TBR just null and void. Um, but I do want to read this. I still have it already sectioned off. Um, so we're going to go with this. All I know is that this is why a fantasy set in... Um, it's it's African-based YA fantasy, and the main character... Tarasai, I think that's how you say her name, Tarasai. When she comes of age, the lady who was like this motherly figure sends her to the capital to become one of the crown princes council of 11 and she's supposed to kill the crown prince when she gains his trust, but I'm pretty sure she doesn't and it's a romance and conspiracy and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so I'm excited to dive into this book, okay? Um, so that is book three. 
moving on to this card oh she thick she thick she thick so for she thick i got two options okay now the reason why i have two options is because uh for december i was supposed to read the busy bee book club pick but i just didn't get a chance to reading it and i definitely do want to read it so i have that as an option and then i have another book that i've been reading since september as an option so the main one i'm definitely going to include because i have about 500 pages left in this book to go that is going to be the way of kings by brandon sanderson i have read a good chunk of this you guys good chunk okay i've read 663 pages of this i still have another 500 pages left to go so this would count because it is over 500 pages that i have to read this book is a total of 1107 pages yeah 1107 pages so i still have about a good 500 pages left to go and it's not that i'm not loving this book i'm thoroughly enjoying it it's just i the last couple months have been crazy so i want to finish this the first week of december um so we have that as an option and then also the shadow of what was lost by james is james islington the first book in the lycanus trilogy this was the busy bee book club pick for december which i didn't really get a chance to get to because it was just too much going on in december um so we have this as an option i'm gonna try to squeeze this in for sure this book is a total of 693 pages it's almost 700 pages i can definitely read it i already have it tabbed out um like separated into sections so those are the two options okay next um we're gonna go with this middle one switch up switch up a format you barely rarely read e-reader or audiobook so i love e-readers um ebooks so ebook is not the option so i'm gonna go with audiobook and for audiobook i guess i can just say the shadow of what was lost um so for switch up i'm gonna go with the shadow of what was lost and then for sheep thick i'm gonna go with the way of king so that worked out <laughs> lovely didn't it work out lovely okay so we have four cards left we're gonna go with this one secret lovers a book you wanted to read for many years a book i wanted to read for many years what i don't know um oh okay so i'm gonna go with carry on by rainbow Rowell. i know many people do not like her and all that great stuff but i have been wanting to read this since it came out when did this come out 2000 and what let's see let's see let's see 2015 so it's 2020 <laughs> we're gonna read this book so carry on all i didn't know is that this is sort of like fan fiction of harry potter but with a gay couple i mean fantasy i'm here for it it is what it is so we're gonna go with carry on um for that option three cards left we're gonna go with the middle one. Oh jesus copycat a book that matches your current outfit so currently i have on mint and lavender i have on lavender crystal like earrings my glasses are rose gold my nails are neutral so i mean they said outfit though so a book that matches my outfit i'm gonna have to come back to that because i have to actually scour my shelves i mean no i don't because this definitely works this book definitely works I could do this book as well, but I'm going to come back to that. So I'm going to come back to this book, um, this option in a second, because I might do a reread. Um, so we have two books left. This one, Wild Card, Create Your Own Prompt. So for that, I actually have these cards that I printed out from G from the book world. So if you guys don't know, she has the TBR Avatar, um, which is her TBR game based on Avatar. And she created these cards. Um, if you guys saw my December TBR, you know what I'm talking about. I did play her, um, game in December. Um, and I have these cards and these cards have various different prompts on them. So I'm going to shuffle these and pick a card and that'll be my prompt. Um, I like incorporating TBR games. So I'm literally just shuffling these cards. They're like tarot size cards. Like, okay. So I'm going to, I don't know. Okay. I'm going to take this card here hopefully it's a good card and not a bad one yeah so it's suki read a book with um sprayed edges so i can do that because i have a lot of books that i dye sprayed edge myself so i'm going to come back to that one in a second so we have that option and then move that to the side the last one is a booktube card read a booktubers recommendation and has a picture of jesse on it um and for that i'm going to go with fortuna sworn by kj sutton because becca from becca in the books has been raving about this trilogy series or whatever it's going to be called um for a long time and i do own the first and second book i'm waiting to get a copy of the third book so I'm going to pick that. I do have them on e-reader, which is why the image is here. So I'm going to go with that. And this is a fantasy romance all about fairies. I've heard it's really awesome. So we have that. So 
going back to these two cards okay so for the wild card i picked um this one suki which is read a book with sprayed edges and i do a lot of dye sprayed edges on my own so i technically have one but it's already on my my tbr so i'm gonna actually cheat a little bit and switch some books around <laughs> so for dye sprayed edges um i mean for read a book with sprayed edges i'm actually going to put ray bearer by jordan y fuego and then for the book that said um five star prediction which is best part for this one i'm gonna go with this which is amari and the night brothers by bb Olsen. it's middle grade uh sci-fi fantasy it has feels of men in black nevermore Artemis Fowl, and harry potter and it comes out this month um so i definitely want to read this i won this uh part of the goodreads giveaway so i definitely want to read this as middle grade and i feel like it's going to be lighthearted, fun and everything oh there's illustrations where'd it go there's illustrations and uh, i already have it marked out because i was supposed to read this again in december so we have that and then copycat copycat read a book that um, matches your current outfit i have so many books that match my outfit but they're like sequels and i can't do that so does this work um no because it's more blue than lavender this is gonna be interesting that's a sequel and i haven't read any of the other books to it I'm probably gonna have to go with this one. I could do that, but that's a sequel. I'm probably gonna do a reread, most likely. We're gonna do a reread. So let me go and grab the book while the camera is still going. Okay, so I have three options. Um, I don't have any books that are like straight up lavender or mint. So yeah but um i do have three options so the first one is going to be bane win by mp chapman um this is going to be fantasy if i'm not mistaken um and it's ya fantasy and on the back it said void weavers and the holy guardian must battle for the soul of humanity high schooler genevieve de winter finds herself entangled in the throes of adventure romance and survival after discovering the existence of a group of magical beings known as formulas in their coexisting world bane win um so it sounds like it's going to be interesting and i'm 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 actually here for this bird skull for some odd reason so it has that lavender here um and on the back so we can do this right i can do this book here which is called waiting for the night song by julie carrick dalton and um this is contemporary i think this is contemporary yeah, it's a coming of age story. Um, it has lavender, as you can see, lavender, but it also has pink. So we can do this. I can do this. This one is supposed to be um it's a fresh engaging tale. There is portraits of persistence and friendship. Um it is slow burning, it's a killer gorgeous debut. I'm trying to see if anybody on here I nope, I don't know any of these people who blurbed it. a debut novel it's a love song to the natural beauty around us a call to fight for what we believe in and a reminder that the truth will always arise so we can go with this and um this is why of course if i'm not mistaken definitely why so we have this as an option um and then i have the library of legends by danny chang i believe in my book haul i said chong but i meant chang um and i'm looking at it now and though it could match um this doesn't have a lot to it so i'm actually gonna put this back and we're gonna go between contemporary fantasy i'm gonna say fantasy just because I, I love me a good fantasy um but this is also looking like it could be something sweet. So I'm going to just throw both of these on the TBR. And either one that I complete will complete that prompt, if that makes sense. So that is that for Copycat. So we are going to run through the cards and the selected books again. Hopefully I can get this right. Because, yeah. Okay. Let's put that one there. That there. Okay. I think I have it in the right order 
so let me just run through these again so for the first card that i picked up it's fixer upper bipoc retelling of a classic and for that i'm gonna go with these violence the lights by uh chloe gong which is a um retelling of romeo and julia set in shanghai in 1926 so i'm here for this so that is the first option or the first book excuse me the second one is victor Le, 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 i don't know if it's lavale or lavelle please correct me if i'm wrong there it is it's horror paranormal fiction with strong social themes for that i'm gonna go with the um busy Bee book club pick for january which is the year of the witching by alexis henderson then for the next one we have best part which is a five star prediction novel and here's the artwork so you guys can see that up close and for that i'm gonna go with amari and the night brothers by bb austin this is middle grade fantasy sci-fi um with the feels of men in black nevermore artemis fowl and harry potter so we have this book here and it comes out this month which i'm excited for um the next prompt was she thick over 500 pages long for that i'm gonna go with the way of kings by brandon sanderson we need to finish it i have about 500 pages left to go so it needs to be finished and this is um adult epic high fantasy Following that, we have Switch Up, which is a format you really read, e-reader or audio. I read a lot of ebooks, so it's not going to be ebook. Audio books are still kind of new for me to get into. So for that, I have The Shadow of What Was Lost by James Islington or Islington. It is the first book in the Lycanus trilogy, and it is um, adult fantasy. I'm not sure if it's epic, high, or whatever, but it's adult fantasy. And um, I know that it deals with a journey, and I'll be listening to the audiobook while I read. So we have that. Um, the next card is Secret Lovers, a book you've wanted to read for many years. Here is that close up. That option is going to be Carry On by Rainbow Rowell, YA fantasy sort of fanfic of Harry Potter with a gay romance. So, yeah. The next one was, um, where'd it go? Okay. The next one is the booktube card, Read a Booktuber's Recommendation. For that, I'm going to go with Fortuna Sworn by KJ Sutton. Obviously, this is fantasy romance. I'm here for it. Then the next card is going to be Wild Card, Create Your Own Prompt. For that, I selected a card from G's uh, TV Arbitar set, and I got Suki, and it's read a book with sprayed edges. And for that, I have Ray Bearer by Jordan Ifuego. This did not come with sprayed edges. I did dye sprayed edges, so I painted the edges with acrylic paint. And, um, uh, it's not going to show too well, but it's purple. It's like a royal purple with shimmer. And the shimmer has a blue sheen to it, but you cannot see it um, unless it's in person. It's gorgeous. So we have that. And the last book is going to be Copycat. Read a book that matches your outfit. For that, I have two options because I'm not sure which one I'm going to be in a mood to read. So we have Bane Win by N.P. Chapman. I need to read this regardless. And then we also have Waiting for the Night Song by Julie Carrick Dalton. I need to actually read both of these for reviews for the month. Um, so either way, they're going to be read. But which one will pull the prompt will be whichever one I read first. So we have both of those. So that is a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10 books um i'm saying 10 it's actually nine because nine cards but 10 books um and that is it i do have about six other books that i'm going to be reading that are christian based so that's a lot of books but it's okay i'm trying to you know have high hopes and high great high great reads what that didn't make any sense i have high hopes for january so yeah i haven't started any reading so i'm probably going to listen to the audiobook of um the way of king just to get some reading done today um so yeah i'm gonna go maybe the next video will be my december book haul and maybe my december wrap-up if i feel like recording it because i really don't care about december at this point <laughs> um but yeah that is it for this video thank you guys for watching rating comment and subscribing and i'll see you guys in the next one bye